Get, uh, uh, there we go, there we go. Yeah, sorry, much better. I think we're almost at what that. keenly this morning right lots of information was shared and is my Instagram live up and running is it running is it yes we're good to go all right amen so I want to welcome everyone again who is physically here with us at the turnover and those who are just joining us on our Instagram live at youth expression JA welcome to the National Family Planning Board's official launch of its adolescent focused social media page youth expression my name is Talia Suarez and I will be guiding you through the award ceremony for the youth expression competition did anybody in here enter the competition yeah if you, if you entered just make some noise for me yes and if you are excited about this brand new social media page that is for you the youth I want you to make some noise as well guys uh, if you're on my Instagram yes that's all oh God on a wake up thank you Jesus Thank you, God. Just about just in time. If you are on my Instagram live, I want you to send in some emojis as well because it is about you, the youth, right? And we want a safe space, a safe platform where you can tell us your concerns, where you can actually reach out to us and you can actually find that information that is, guess what? It's not a lie. It's not the, it, it, it is the truth, right? It's at your fingertips. And with, the, with the, the age that we're in now, the digital space, it is so important for us to protect the truth, right? To protect what is right and for us to spread the correct information. So for many of, those, for, for many of you who are actually joining us um, on Instagram and you're not really aware about what youth expression is, I should tell you that it is a safe platform curated, specially curated by the National, the National Family Board, you know, for us, the youth, and for you, the youth, to get that reliable information that you need, right? It allows you to receive information from a reputable source. No more myths. No more miscommunication, no more lies. You don't have to second guess anything because it is there for you. Hence, of course, the slogan, right? Know the truth, get the facts. And when we talk about the facts, we're talking about family planning. We're talking about abstinence. We're talking about consistent condom use. And we're talking about testing for HIV and syphilis. Now, I mentioned the award ceremony and the National Family Planning Board in rebranding its information services to information to the youths had a social media campaign for youth expression. Now, 
uh, members of the adolescent population got a chance to display their talents by entering three categories. I mentioned them earlier. I'm going to mention them now for my viewers on Instagram Live. I'm talking about a mini movie. I'm talking about a poster and a musical jingle. So we're here to acknowledge your winners and to celebrate them this morning, celebrate their talents, and to thank them so much for entering the competition. Of course, the first place entries will be used as a part of the national campaign. All right, but before we get into the awards, please help me welcome the Honorable Juliet Cuthbert Flynn, State Minister in the Ministry of Health and Wellness, to bring greetings. Please make her feel welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Get those emojis going on Instagram as well. What a morning we had. And we are moving into the afternoons segment and um, I'm still happy to be here. <laughs> uh, Masters of Ceremony, Ms. Talia Soares, Dr. Lovett Byfield, Principal Director, National Family Planning Board, Ms. Nikisha Barnes, who we saw her running back and forth. I was up here and she was just going back and forth and directing traffic. I uh, was a behavioral change coordinator for the NFPB. Ms. Annie K. Magnus, Watson National Coordinator for Health and Family Life in um, HIV and AIDS in the Ministry of Education. Distinguished guests, um, students, members of the media, again, pleasant afternoon. And let me just begin to say that today's event, and more so the dialogue of adolescent sexual and reproductive health, is an important one, as we've heard um, all morning. Given the vulnerabilities associated with youth, there must be sustained conversation confronting the issues with which this um, age cohort um, is faced. Adolescent health and development remains a significant focus of Jamaica's public health interventions in keeping with Sustainable Development Goal 3, which targets healthy lives and promotion of well-being for all ages. As countries, including Jamaica, move towards SDG 3, it is anticipated that by 2030, among other things, we will re realize a reduction in the global maternal mortality ratio an end to the AIDS epidemic, and universal access to sexual and reproductive health care services, including for family planning, information, and education, and also the integration of reproductive health into national strategies and programs. Jamaica's adolescent population, that is 10 to age 19 age group, it is, critical, is a critical part of achieving these targets nationally especially given the vulnerabilities associated with this cohort. Adolescent and youth accounts for approximately 20% of the population and are widely susceptible to a range of issues, including early onset of sexual behaviors that we've heard earlier, forced or transactional sex and inadequate knowledge of HIV prevention and treatment. And so to mitigate these concerns require a whole of society approach. Not true, right? Providing services in sexual and reproductive health and key components of strategies employed in country to meet the demands of adolescent development. This is especially important in light of data that shows an increase, an increase in HIV among the youth population from 16 to 24 years. And also, there's an uptick in the number of sexually active adolescents across this island, Jamaica land we love. But to put simply, more of our young people are having sex at an early age, and we must put in place mechanism to address this. We know all too well that such a risky behavior results in far-reaching consequences that hinder their ability to lead healthy and productive lives. Consider these data. Figures from UNICEF shows that 20% of all child visits to public hospitals between the year 2014 and 2017 were due to sexual assault and the main perpetrators were either a relative, a family friend, acquaintance, or intimate partner. 
that is frightening. Youth age 15 to 24 years old continue to register high rates of unplanned, ill-timed, or unwanted pregnancies. So as part of its focus, the Ministry of Health and Wellness, in partnership with various ministries and also departments and agencies, continue to promote positive youth and adolescent development. If we were to conduct a brief survey and ask adolescents about their concerns, um, their current needs, one thing will stand out. They will definitely mention that there's need to access and more times than not make clear the need to access the right kind of information concerning sexual um, health and development. We continue to reaffirm our commitment to adolescent development with strategic actions in collaborating with, youth, with key youth and adolescent stakeholders, a non-traditional access point, which at, we have the Teen Hub was developed. The first Teen Hub was launched in 2017 in the Halfway Tree Transport Center. This has been lauded as an innovative and practical approach in providing adolescent and youth with age-appropriate services in a super supportive setting to minimize and mitigate risky behavior and, and lifestyle practices. Since this inception in Kingston, the Teen Hub has seen an uptake in the access of services. Uh, further to this, we have seen March of, in March of this year, broken ground to a Teen Hub, as I mentioned, for the eastern end of the island in Morant Bay. This facility will be located in, located in St. Thomas uh, and assist us to empower young people in their decision-making skills and the plethora of service that will be offered to include skills training, HIV counseling, test, health fairs, mental health screening, counseling and referrals through a visit um, um, psychologist, pregnancy screening and referral will supported by the weekly presence of a nurse. Today, the National Family Planning Board, NFPB, officially launches the rebranded youth arm of the Marge Roper Counseling Service, now called Youth Expression for further support for adolescent development from, from a national standpoint. To give a brief history, this service has assisted Jamaica for over 40 years, as we heard before, providing private and confidential sexual and reproductive health advice, whether through call-ins, walk-ins, or by letter. However, with the technology, um, technological shift, young people now access information instantaneously, whether it be through WhatsApp message, sending a DM, not to mention Googling and performing um, um, a YouTube search. Why is youth expression important? Well, it is, and therefore today's launch is significant. Let me offer some more perspective. So according to the 2017 Knowledge, Attitude, Behavior, and Practice survey, only 32.9% of young men and women, 15 to 24, were able to correctly identify keeping one partner and 100% condom use as the two ways of preventing the transmission of HIV and other sexually transmitted infection STIs. The average of first sexual intercourse for persons, we heard Ms. Terry Carell reads mention this, for persons in the age 15 to 24 group range from 11 to 13 years for males and 15 to 17 years for females. Consequently, we have seen that of the 618 new cases of HIV reported in 2020, 16% of those new cases, or 99 were adolescent age 15 to 19 years old. This is consistent with the age of first, first sexual experience. An annual HIV STI review um, stated this in 2021. 40% of Jamaican women have been pregnant at at least once before the age of 20 years, and more than 80% of adolescent pregnancies aged 15 to 19 are unplanned. 
In 2018, the World Bank estimated that the adolescent birth rate in Jamaica was declining and is now 51 births per 1,000 girls 15, aged 15 to 19. However, Jamaica is still above the global adolescent pregnancy rate, which is estimated at 46 births per 1,000 girls, and this is by the WHO. So we're here this morning to rebrand. The findings above have contributed to the strategic process to rebrand the information provision, provision arm of the Marge Roper Counseling Service to include this youth-driven social media focused component called youth expression. And as, as an agency of the Ministry of Health and Wellness, the National Family Planning Board, NFPB, is committed to responding to the needs of the population through the first line support for adolescent and youth in the area of sexual and reproductive um, health information, treatment, referral, and preventative services. So the rebranding services at a glance, youth expression is essentially is about talking with youths talking about youths and all the questions and concerns about sexual health, you must know the truth. Yes, no other facts out there, the truth. Know the truth, get the facts. This is a slogan for youth expression. And I want all of you to say it with me. Know the truth, get the facts. And F is for family planning, the facts. A is for abstinence. C is for consistent condom use. T is for testing for STIs such as HIV. Youth across Jamaica may access this service, listen up, via WhatsApp line 876-536-9154 or by DM on social media at Youth Expressions JA, one word. And this is dedicated professional staff who are experts in the reproductive health will be on hand to respond to all of your concerns in real time. And so in closing, as a minister, state minister in the Ministry of Health and Wellness, the Ministry of Health and Wellness wants you to take advantage, full advantage of youth expression. WhatsApp, DM your sexual and reproductive health concerns and questions and receive information from a rep reputable source. Free of myths and misconception to enable uh, responsible sexual decision making and practices among you, the future of Jamaica. Again, remember, know the truth, get the facts. Thank you very much for having me here this morning. Thank you so much, State Minister Cuthbert Plain. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, for a State Minister sharing findings, sharing information, and of course, now this youth-driven social media page and platform that you know is now it has now rebranded to become youth expression. And it's so important if you guys did not get that WhatsApp number, let me just tell you one more time: 876-536-9145. DM to what? Know the truth. Get the facts, right? There we go. All right, guys. I think it's time to get into the categories for our presentations this afternoon. The first one is the mini movie category. Who entered the mini movie category in here? Do we have anybody? Okay. So our third place winner is Brittany Buchanan. We're going to put our hands together for our top three winners. Brittany Buchanan. Second place winner, Amelia Ebanks. And our first place winner, yes, hails from the beautiful parish of Portland. She attended the St. Thomas Technical High School with a passion of photography, videography, art as well. And it has actually just begun with more to come in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our first place winner in the mini movie category, Chanel Scott. Now, in the meantime, I should actually let you know that Chanel is not physically here with us. We're going to turn our attention to the screens and we're going to take a look at the mini movie. <laughs> Hi, I am Shania, and this is my story. A few weeks ago, I went to do a checkup, and the doctor told me something was wrong with the lower regions of my body. After asking me 
some questions. They then concluded that it was my infrequent usage of condoms that led me onto this path. The level of isolation I felt from my friends, my family, and even my partner had me feeling like I was lost on an island alone. My only friends were nature's gifts, leading me sometimes that I want to cut myself. But after my last checkup, I realized everything was okay. But one thing is for sure, I'll never forget to use a condom again. Another round of applause for our winner. Chanel Scott in the mini movie category, ladies and gentlemen. At this time, I'd like to invite uh, Minister Cuthbert Flynn. And I know that we have a representative on behalf of Chanel who will collect her prize. Um, so I'm asking you please to step forward. On behalf of the National Family Board, congratulations to our first place winner in the mini movie category. Even though she's not physically here with us, we want to make her feel special and to know that we do appreciate her entry. Just switch positions for us, guys. Thank you. <laughs> and just note that this mini movie will be used as a part of the national campaign. So please look out for it. And remember that you saw it here first. Yes, you saw it here first. So it's going to be big things happening right across the island because we need to get this message out about youth expression. Knowing the truth, getting the facts. All right, so since you guys warm up to me now and you, you sound like you're awake, I feel like you guys want another giveaway. Just about, right? No, boy, I sound like I'm going to go back to sleep, man. I don't like this at all. All right, so I have another giveaway for you. The question is, can anyone tell me one clear message from the mini movie? I don't know if I should. Am I allowed to pick on a teacher? No. <laughs> the students actually overruled me a while ago because I was going to say yes. But the students said, is Una said no for true? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So since you guys said no, who had their hand up first? We see, oh, in the green over here? All right, so I'm gonna, we're going to give you a microphone. Tell me one... Testing. Yes, testing. We're gonna, tell me one clear message from the mini-movie that you received. Consistent condom use. Consistent condom use. Did she get it right? Yeah, I can give her the prize. All right, congratulations, my dear. Which school are you from? Yellows High. From Yellows High. All right, and your name is... Boy, I Finally bet there's a Gen more. Z name she have, you know. Tell me, what's your name? Clan Ali Moore. What was that? Clan Ali Moore. Clan Ali. Clan Ali. Clan Ali, I feel like mommy just said, I'm going to put my name and daddy name together. I must come out with something very special. Put your hands together for Clan Ali, guys. All the way from Yalos. Thank you so much. Congratulations to you. Yes. Oh, thank you. It, it, she, said, she said it actually happened. Mommy said, I'm going to put mommy name. The, Clannally, I got it right, right? My guess was correct, no? Clannally, I know, you know, I know. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to keep it moving. Next up is the poster category. Are you guys ready for this one? So, in third place, we had Malika Tracy. Yes, put your hands together for our winners. Second place, we had Michaela McDonald. Yes, clap Michaela, guys. And our first place winner has been drawing for about nine years. She loves drawing concepts that, you know, interest her. And she's been a reader of comic books. And she enjoys integrating this element into her current projects. She has recently become focused on creating art that is highly influenced by the Bronze Age of comics. Oh, so fancy. The I'm going to ask her, what, what's this Bronze Age of comics? Because, you know, say only one comic me know. I don't want to use to read the newspaper. You want to pull out and you used to do the word puzzle. And sometimes they repeat the story, you know, but it never really matter because I look, you know, we looked forward to reading these comics. So, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our first place winner, Abriana Brown. 
And in the interim, Abriana, as you make your way um, to the stage, I'd like everyone to turn their attention to the screen. Check out that poster. Check, Abriana, is that a superhero at the front? Yes, that's a superhero. It's a what? It's Sir Condom. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I'd like to invite also the Principal Director of the National Family Planning Board, Dr. Lavette Byfield, to do the presentation. Yes. Abriano. Other side, other side, Doc. Yes. Put your hands together for Abriana, guys. I know, I know we want to hear, what, what exactly is it? The, what is it? The bronze, the bronze Age of Comics? Yes? So, so okay, it's, it's from the? Okay, it's from the 70s or the 60s. But right after you photo ops, have we gotten all the pictures? I think we want to hear a thank you from Abriana, right? So please put your hands together for her one more time, guys. Thank you for having me. Um, I appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you so much, Abrian. And she also said, you know, thank you so much for the opportunity just to showcase her talent and what a talent she has. Teaching us about this whole bronze, bronze age of comics. Yes, thank you so, so very much. All right, ready for another giveaway, guys? Yes, I love it. Okay, who can tell me what's the tagline for youth expression? I have been saying this all morning. And, it's, you know, it's miss, 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 I feel like he deserves a prize now because Miss put up her hand first again. But the students go and tell me no again. So I don't know. Let me see. Who, who can tell me the tagline? You, you pick out. You, you, <laughs> you don't want to pick who? Okay, who had up their hand first? Okay, on, on my right, is it a Jamaica College young man? All right. The tagline for youth expression. Know the truth, get the facts. Know the truth, get the facts. You're right. Co please come forward for your prize. I see. Is, is, uh, Yes. Don't be afraid all the way from Jamaica College. What is your name, my friend? What's your friend? What's your name? Pierce. All right, Pierce. Congratulations from the National Family Planning Board. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> know the truth. Get the facts, ladies and gents. All right. Our final category is for the jingle. In third place, we had Janae Scott. Keep that applause going for Janae. Oh, Janae is here. Hi, Janae. Thank you so much for entering. You came third. In second place, we had Jerice Fender. Jerice is also here. All right, the ladies representing. But the winner of this jingle competition is a young, up-and-coming, multifaceted artist from the parish of St. Anne. His most notable release is titled No Chance, for which he collaborated with ZSA Music. He is also a proud graduate of the York Castle High School in Brownstown and is now studying psychology at the Monique College. I'm talking about our first place winner, Ricoy Henry. No, Rikoi is actually not physically present with us, but I want to invite you all to turn your attention to the screens to check out the jingle video. Yeah. Before we can roll, pinch, leave a niche, making love sweeter than the seasoning. Oh, we are have sex and not even dear. Abstinence for one like pen relief. Worse, if you don't know where your status be, get tested for the H I N V. If you broke our friend, NFPD, up a confidential testing for free. Sex now nah, gonna wait. Abstinence, but if you do it, a condom knows status for no four mega pandy bed. Better safe than care about what people say. 
death now nah, go know we abstinence But if we do it, a condom use Status for no four me go pan the bed Better safe than care about what people say Leave an inch when you pinch Make sure see your round Leave an inch now Leave an inch when you pinch Make sure see your round See if sex is the best sex Know your status Protect yourself and your partner We're trying for that Rich Give it up for Rikoi Henry, guys. And he also, well, I, I don't think we have, we don't have a representative here on behalf of Rikoi, but he sent in a video to collect his prize. So please turn your attention to the screen. Buenos dias a todos. Como están ustedes? Hello, everyone. My name is Rikoi Henry, and I was the first place winner for the DJ competition held by NFPB Jamaica. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it in body, but I am here in voice and spirit. So I'd like to take this opportunity to send thanks to NFPB for providing myself and the rest of the competitors with a platform to showcase our talents while shedding light on such an important topic. I'd also like to send congratulations to the rest of the winners and commendations to every single person who submitted an entry. I saw some incredible talents and I really do wish that you guys take the time to master your craft and continue to do the great work that you're doing. I don't want to take up too much of your time, so I wish you guys an enjoyable day and thank you so much for listening. <laughs> oh my goodness, I, Rich Roy, so much personality, what a superstar, right? What a so I feel I feel like this is just the beginning and possibly 20 years from now when we see him on those big stages right performing this will be a part of his story and when I say his story I mean history as well right because this really is just the beginning one more time for our first place winner guys for Troy Henry no Okay, I'm gonna actually, we're gonna have a presentation uh, being done on his behalf. So at this time, I'd like to call up Miss e, Mrs. Claudette, Mrs. Claudette Pius, Executive Director of the Children First Agency, who will be doing the presentation on his behalf. Still need that photo up for Choi Henry, our first place winner in the jingle competition. And remember, guys, we'll be hearing a lot of this song, a lot of this jingle, because it will be a part of the national campaign. So I'm sure you guys will know it word for word. You'll be singing it while you're taking your showers, while you're driving in your car, or on your way to school. In, you know, whether you're taking the public transportation or your private transportation, wherever, I'm sure you will be hearing this jingle. Now, I think it's only fitting for my final giveaway to include the jingle. Right? Yeah? Yes, right? It's only fitting for us to do just that. Can I get like two volunteers, maybe? Any two students? Any? All right, so I have one here. Any, I'm not even going to tell you what I wanted to do yet. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. All right, ladies, just take center stage for me. Just, why not look so nervous? I promise you, I, won't, I'm, I promise you, just because you both volunteered, Nikisha, I hope I have two prizes around the back. I'm just saying, hopefully. All right, ladies, so we're going to do a little, you know, a little dance off to the jingle. I know you guys are quite familiar with the leg of the bird and the dips and all those things, but we're gonna definitely keep it clean, right? Because it's all a part of the National Family Planning Board. So, Mr. DJ, you gonna run the jingle for me one more time? And let me see for our students, which schools are being represented here right now? Before we can go Kingston, Tech, and, and Penwood. All right, so we have Kingston Tech, and we have Penwood High School. Are you ladies ready? You know ready? Oh no, loosen up on yourself, man. Oh gosh, man. Loosen up on yourself, man. Ready, Mr. DJ, and go. Let's get some ready, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Kids from Tech looks like she come out, you know, say, I want more for these prizes. Penwood? Penwood, let go the bird for me, Penwood. Let go the bird. Let go the bird. Let go the bird. Let go the bird. All right. Dip A. All right. Dip for me now, Penwood. Dip for me. Dip. Dip A. All right, a round of more blood for ladies, guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to have two prizes for you. Thank you. All right, just for participating and being good troopers. Thank you guys so much. Lots of information shared here, guys. I mean, we have so many resources right at your fingertips. But remember, it's all about what? Knowing the truth, getting the facts. Be sure to share the social media pages. Share the WhatsApp info. Let me remind you one more time. 876-536-9154. All right, so that's 876 876- Five three six nine one five four. Any questions, any concerns, any issues, they will be readily available to address them. All right? It's all about the facts. It's all about the truth. I also want to thank the State Minister of Health, the Principal Director of NFPB, or Executive Director of Children's First Agency. Um, for everyone who has been here with us this morning, all our viewers on Instagram for logging in as well. And thank you so so much you the students or media partners as well for coming out and sharing in this event this morning it was an absolute pleasure youth expression is launch right it launch right yeah officially it has been launched guys so please share the information don't keep it to yourself and let us what know the truth Get the facts. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Have a rest, a great, great, great rest of the afternoon. Yeah. Before we can roll, pinch, leave an inch, make it look sweeter than the seasoning. Oh, we are out sex and not even dear. Abstinence for one like pen relief. Worse, if I don't know where your status be, get tested for the H I N V. If you broke our food, NFPB, a confidential testing for free. Sex now, but no way. Abstinence.